process is as interesting to civilians yeah. who are consuming journalism as substance, right? The people out in the world who are consumers of media are more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. They understand that there's a sure. sausage making as well as a sausage. And the great example of this that you and I talked about actually on the podcast and is in the book is David Farenthold. Yeah. The Pulitzer Prize winning reporter of the Washington Post who was tweeting out pictures of his big chief tablet as he was chronicling yeah. the supposed giving by the Trump Foundation over the course of the campaign, right? I, I, I reprinted that David Farenthal's story that he wrote in the Washington Post about how he went after that charity right. uh, story that he won the Pulitzer for. And yeah. it was just amazing. It was the best example I've seen of how we can use the new technology. Right. Uh, I mean, he would actually uh, tweet out, have you seen this he picture? He was crowdsourcing. He was crowdsourcing yeah. and, stuff, and, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, of Donald Trump. And, and he would locate this right. stuff. And uh, he is, uh, I think... Uh, he, he's, he's one of the best reporters that I've well, come across. As, as I told you, you know, some people have the version of the Guadalupe in their house. I have a picture of David Farenthal, right? I mean, you know, right? I mean, I, I, I see him as kind of the great, the great hero of this era because he's demonstrated how you can be both a, a, a kind of, you know, traditional reporter, like, yeah. you know, investigative reporter on the one hand, but also access the technology to advance the cause of journalism. It's and, not either or, it can be both ends. That's what I want young reporters to understand. That's yeah. what journalism is really right. about. David Farenthal called 320 charities in the course of this investigation That's and right. said, hey, have you ever gotten any money from Donald Trump? I mean, 320. 